the 49ers are banged up at wide receiver. So much for plan A this year. Wide receiver Jalen Hurd is going to miss the season with what appears to be a torn ACL. Just a gut-wrenching punch for the second-year player. And now he'll have to miss another season. Another road to recovery. A long road to recovery. So the 49ers already are missing Debo and Richie James. So where do they go from here? Luckily, the Niners, before this all happened, picked up free agents Tavon Austin and J.J. Nelson. But there's no doubt that Jalen Hurd has some tough luck. But let's be honest. Let's be honest with ourselves. The Niners can't miss a player they haven't had yet. Last year, Hurd was out for the year because of a back injury. So the Niners haven't had the luxury to have him on the football field, similar to like Jarek McKinnon. We've heard nothing but wonderful things about Jalen Hurd, and I was so looking forward to have him play this season. So no doubt, we're all bum about this. And we never want to see a player go down like that. So who do the Niners rely on? Well, the Niners drafted Jawan Jennings out of Tennessee this year, and from what I've been reading on 49ers training camp, he's really opened some eyes. Similar to Hurd, Jennings is a tall receiver, not really fast, but can go up and get the football, a very physical receiver at that, and that's what I like the best out of Jennings. His physicality is contagious. He seems like a candidate to make this team now. He was a practice squad candidate for me before camp broke out now with injuries piling up at wide receiver i don't see how you can keep him out of this roster the silver lining in all of this is that the niners are deep at receiver and are capable of getting by even with the hurt injury but the niners can't afford to have another receiver go down then we'll have to rely on players who have just came into camp like two days ago, like Tavon Austin and JJ Nelson. That'll be tough. Another receiver I'm looking forward to see this year is Trent Taylor. He's in a contract year. I'm sure he's motivated this year. And from the looks of it, he sounds like he missed out from playing last year because of, of things that were out of his control, as he'd say. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo has some chemistry with him there going back to 2017, 2018. Uh, I'm excited to see Trent Taylor back on the football field. Kendrick Bourne is another interesting piece that may start until Debo gets back. He's another player I love watching and he should have a good grasp of this offense by now. I mean, he's entering his fourth year, I think, and another guy on a contract year. So I expect good play from Bourne again this year. I think he played well last year as well. So lastly, the guy I want to touch on is Brandon Ayuk. And it's fair to say he's opened the most eyes in camp this year. I mean, people are already saying he's better than Debo. Let's just pump the brakes a little bit on that, okay? <laughs> I mean, he hasn't even played a preseason game for crying out loud. But I can assume with confidence that he'll start week one. I mean, people don't just say he easily gets open. He looks like the best receiver out there. I mean, these are what beat writers are saying. And you don't just say that if you don't think he'll he'll start. I think he'll start right away. Again, emphasizing even more because Debo is injured at the moment and Hurd is out for the year now. But I expect a, a big year from Ayuk even before all of this happened. And I'm excited to watch him play here in a couple of weeks. So... Jalen Hurd is out for the year, unfortunately, but is there much of a shuffle in the room? I don't think so. My early camp guess is that Jawan Jennings takes his spot, and then the Niners also have Debo, Ayuk, Bourne, Taylor, Pettis, with Richie James on the pup list. That's my guess. 